Have you been asked to find three consecutive integers in a problem such as this one and you're not sure how to proceed? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to make this super simple for you in today's video. But first, I want to say something wonderful is going to happen for you very soon. So be on the lookout for it. And now back to the video. In this video, it says, in this problem, it says, what are three consecutive integers such that three times the second plus the third equals 85? Well, first let's get some definitions down. What is an integer? Well, an integer is a number that is not a fraction. So there's no fractions, there's no decimals. So examples would be 5 and 95 and negative 200 and 0. Those are all integers. 2 fifths is not an integer. 3.71 is not an integer because these are fractions. Mixed numbers wouldn't count either, and this has a decimal. So the first thing we know is they have to be, I don't want to use the, the term whole numbers because whole numbers in math means something else, but they are numbers that are not fractions. They're complete numbers, no fractions, no decimals. They can be positive and they can be negative. Whereas whole numbers are very similar, but they are not negative. But integers can be negative. So they go from 0 to positive infinity one direction, and from 0 to negative one infinity the other direction. So we now know what an integer is. What do we mean by consecutive? Well, consecutive means in a row, like 1, 2, 3. That's three consecutive integers. We're not skipping anything. So it's, you start with one in this case, the next one we have a two, and then we have a three. Those, that's just an example. It could be 10, 11, 12. It, so just three consecutive integers, and they are going to add up if you multiply three times the second one, and then add the third one, it's going to equal 85. So let's, let's dig into this a little more. We need to start somewhere. We don't know where we don't know what any of them are, and we could just do x, y, and z. But I don't want to do that because then we've got three variables, and you can't solve three variables unless you have three equations. In this case, I just want one equation to make things simple. So let's start out with our first number that's an unknown. We're going to just call it an x. So that's our first one. I'm going to just put one in a little circle up here so we know that's our first integer. What should we put for the second integer? Now again, I said you could do you could do a y, but I, I want to keep it one variable. And since we already have an x, what can we do for the second one? Well, if you're not sure, always look at your example. I like to write out a little example like that one, two, three. And that is, I can work from. So if this were the first one, how do I get to the second one? Well, I've got one, how do I get to two? Well, I added one. Because they're consecutive, I'm going to add one. So the second one is gonna be the first number, which is x plus one. So the second one's gonna be x plus one. Anytime you have consecutive integers, that's how you're gonna do it. And then we need our third integer again. I'm circling the three just so we know it's not a number. I'm just putting them in order. Again, how did we get from one, which is the one is x, to three? Well, in this case, we're adding one and two. So x plus one plus two, it gets us to the three. So our third integer is going to be x plus two. And you could check that. Like I said, if this is a one, this is one plus one is two. One plus two is three. And that would give us our three integers. 
but that's not the answer because one, two, three, I don't believe is going to be the answer because we're going to add some things up and it's going to equal 85. So I don't think there's much of a chance we're going to turn one, two, three into an 85. That is just our example. And I'm showing you a way to always work the problem from an example so you can now apply it to the problem at hand. So let's write our equation, which is this part here, three times the second plus the third equals 85. So three times the second, what's our second in integer? It's X plus one, right? That's our second integer. This is the first one, second, third, X plus one. And we're gonna multiply it. When you see times, that means we're multiplying by three. And I put this in parentheses because the entire thing is the integer. The X isn't the integer, it's X plus one is representing an integer. So I'm just gonna put it in parentheses because I wanna multiply three by the entire thing. And then, so that's the three times the second integer plus, so I'm gonna put a plus here, the third. Well, what's the third integer? Well, I'm gonna put some parentheses again so I can keep it together. Our third integer is this one here, x plus two. And we know that that equals 85. So far, so good. So we got three times the second integer plus the third integer is equal to 85. We have now created our single equation that's going to help us unlock the key. It's going to be the key to unlock what our integers are. What we're going to do now is we're going to solve for x. And when we solve for x, that's going to give us our first integer. Integer, And once we have that, then we can plug in to get the second and the third. So how do we solve for x? Well, we want to get it by itself. And so I need to go ahead and clean this up. So let's take care of this multiplication first. So I'm multiplying three times everything in the parentheses. So I need to distribute. So it means I multiply three times the first term. So it's three times x. 3 times x is 3x, and then I take it and I multiply it by the second term. 3 times positive 1. 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. So far, so good. I haven't done anything to this, so I'm just going to bring it down, bring the plus down. And since I'm not multiplying by anything, I can drop the parentheses. I just had them here for convenience, so we knew that we're talking about the third integer. But I'm not multiplying it by anything, so we can just drop it. So I'm just going to bring down the x, and I'm going to bring down the plus 2. And it's still going to equal 85. Next step, let's clean it up a little more. Let's get our x's together and our our integers together because we've got some integers in there as well. So I've got 3x and I've got it plus x here and that's all the x's so I take 3x and I add one more x because remember there's an invisible one here in front of that. We don't write it but it's always there. 3x plus 1x is 4x. And then let's do our integers. I got 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. So it's still plus because we're adding them. They're all positive. Plus 5. And I bring down my 85 here. Next, now we're going to clean it up. And I want to get this x by itself. So let's get this integer out of here. So this kind of loose number. And we do it by doing the opposite. So I've got a plus 5. So I'm going to subtract 5. If I subtract it from one side, I need it need to subtract it from the other side. So I just bring this down. We didn't do anything to it. 4x. 5 minus 5 is 0. I don't need to write that. I bring down my equal sign and I've got 85 minus 5. That's equal to 80. If you're finding this helpful, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithms. Now, the relationship between the 4 and the x is multiplication, right? Because there's no plus or minus in between and they're right next to each other. So this is like saying 4 times x. I want to get the 4 out of there because I want the x by itself. 
to get the 4 out of there, and this is multiplication, we do the opposite, so I divide. Divide this side by 4, and if I divide one side by 4, i got to divide the other side by 4. If I got 4 divided by 4, that becomes a 1. I like to just draw a line there to remind me it's a 1, and I bring down the x. There's, of course, an invisible 1 here, but I'm not going to worry about writing it there. Bring down the equal sign. 80 divided by 4 is 20. We now found our x. Our, our first x is 20. So this is, we have three of them, so this is x. So x is equal to 20. Our first integer is 20. Our second one, as you recall, is x plus 1. And our third is x plus 2. So that makes our job easy. The second one is 20, because the x is 20. 20 plus 1 is 21. And the third one, if I plug in a 20 for the x, 20 plus 2 is 22. So I have three consecutive integers, 20, 21, and 22. That is the three consecutive integers that 3 times the second plus the third is equal to 85. That's how you do it. That's how simply it, it is done. That's all I have for you in this video. If you like this type of material, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Thank you.